Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into another NFL Mock Draft Challenge. This time, we're going to go in and we are going to help the New Orleans Saints. Kind of a little just fun trading video where I will go try hard to make the Saints a better team. I'll trade a bunch of crap. It's just a fun laid back video and the Saints actually do have two first round picks now. They got one from the Eagles. I actually think the Eagles won that trade because they got overall more draft capital. But I understand what the Saints are doing, trying to get more players on rookie contracts, spread that around. So they've got picks 16, 19, 49, 98, 120, 161, 194. We're going to have to make some trades here. We're going to have to get this team more picks. You take a look. They need a quarterback. They need a receiver. They're going to need a tackle. Let's see who we can pair with Michael Thomas. You know who would be interesting? Jamison Williams. That'd be interesting. Get a speedster with a possession guy like Michael Thomas. We're not going to trade up. We don't need to waste assets trading up, folks. Let's be real. We're on the clock here at number 16. There is Jamison Williams, but folks, I'm getting this team more assets. I want 29, 30, and 50. I want 29, 30, and 50. I'll throw in Ian Book. Ian, guys, do you remember Ian Book starting the Monday night game? Blake Bortles, they've got Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill has a terrible contract. So I want, like, I would be interested to see, wow, Michael Thomas doesn't have that much value. They have Marquez Callaway. Yeah, they do need another receiver. Nick Vanette is a good tight end. Alvin Kamara, I'm not sure he's tradable. I am not sure Alvin Kamara. They got Mark Ingram back. Tony Jones Jr., the fantasy bust. Yes. Cesar Ruiz, the Michigan center. Marshawn, yeah, Marshawn Lattimore's a beast. I'd keep Marshawn Lattimore. This kid is from Stanford. Malcolm Jennings is retired, folks. He's retired. He is not with the team. Cameron Jordan, wow. I guess because Cameron Jordan is old. He doesn't have that much trade value. But I'm just kind of seeing which players have trade value. DeMario, DeMario Davis, they do need safety help. Yeah, they need significant safety help. Kelvin Thornmorton, God. Eric McCoy, Andrus Pete. Man, they have a lot of guys from Stanford, I feel like. No, we'll try and trade Kamara. Uh, Kamara, he's got, I don't know if he's suspended. He'll probably be like suspended six games and then he'll appeal it and it'll get reduced down to four. I'm fine with trading him. You need to get younger, get rid of his contract. Doesn't he have a, a big contract as well? They're not going to want that. I'll give you 120. All right, you're not going to want that. What if I gave you a third rounder? Could I get could I get 94 as could I get 94 as well? <laughs> wow. So we got 29, 30, 50 and 94. We will take that and Jamison Williams gets picked. I really got to think who do I want to pair with Ooh, Chris Alave, the Ohio State connection. Because, like, you see, I love picking George Pickens in, like, early in the second round. That was funny. I love picking George Pickens. But, yeah, like, I love George Pickens early second round. But I don't think he fits necessarily perfect with Michael Thomas. It's like they need a speed guy. It feels like Alave is the fit. It really does. I maybe if I can, I don't want to trade down to 32. I'm not trading down to 32. When is my next? My next pick is 29. Okay, we can draft Alave here. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and draft Alave. They also need another corner. We'll get them a corner, but I'm taking Alave to pair with Michael Thomas. The Buckeye connection. You love to see it. You love to see the Buckeye connection. David Ajabo. Sam Howell, we're going to have to draft them a quarterback. We'll get them a quarterback, guys. Don't worry. A team like the Saints, they've got a huge advantage. They're in a dome. They're an attractive spot for a quarterback. Be an offensive-minded team. I love teams that are in domes. Ooh, I want 40, 41, and 72. This is what I'll give you. I'll give you Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill has a bad contract. A lot of these guys do. Marquez Callaway, the young receiver. They really don't need a tight end that bad. I like Nick Vanette, the former Buckeye. Ruiz is the center. Pete is a decent... Pete Andrus Pete is a decent guard. Ramchek is a really good tackle. They probably need another tackle. I remember Landon Young from Kentucky. Yeah, from Kentucky. I wonder what kind of value Ramchek... Yeah, Ramchek probably has their most value. Does Ruiz have value? Wow. Ramchek has that much more value. Does Lattimore have... Yeah, Lattimore's a beast. I'm not trading Lattimore... I will. Oh, Chauncey Gardner Johnson, Bradley. Okay, I don't think they don't need a corner. 
What is Br Bradley Roby is getting up there in age though? That's crazy. No, he's not. He's like 29. He's not that old. Cameron Jordan doesn't have any. Marcus Davenport wasn't he a first round pick? Peyton Turner. I feel like Peyton Turner. Pete Warner. There's a decent linebacker. Yeah, this team has some good players on the defensive side. We will try and trade Mark Ingram, and then we'll throw in like 94. Okay, they're not. They're not going to do that. They're still not going to do that. I'm trying to get 40 and 41. What about the tight end? I'll, I'll literally trade anyone. I'm not trading Ramchek, though. Ruiz, I really don't want to trade. McCoy? Ooh, I want 40 and 41 pretty bad. The problem is this team just does not have a lot of capital. I don't really want to trade this kid. This is the corner from Stanford. But I do want... If I could get 109 as well, I'll do it. And we get it done. I had to do that. So they do draft a Jabo. We'll have to see with a Jabo and, and how he does medically. Uh, you know, he ended up having that injury, unfortunately. Travis Jones is interesting, although you really don't need a guy like that. We are going to need a quarterback. I wonder if Matt... I, I might just draft... Yeah, Matt Corral is such an amazing fit for New Orleans. In a dome, his arm. I mean, Sam Howell is interesting. We could go Sam Howell here. I don't know, man. It's 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 close with these quarterbacks. I think what we'll do, we could honestly just trade back up if we. But who would we even trade back up for? Brisker? They don't. They don't. They do need a safety. I feel like they need a safety. Asimowa, Travis Jones. We also have s several picks coming up. I personally, I like. Ooh, Jihad Dotson. Could Jihad Dotson actually be a better fit with Michael Thomas? That's like the perfect... No, the perfect fit is Jamison Williams. The perfect fit is Jamison Williams. I have to take someone. I just have to... I'm going to take Sam Howell. I'm going to draft Sam Howell. He's being disrespected. He is being disrespected. I'm taking him. Ooh! I wanted Brisker. Asimoa, Travis Jones. They don't need an interior defensive tackle, though. They really don't. We are going to have to get... I want to get them Brees Hall. I want to get them Brees Hall really bad. You take a look at their wide receiver position. It's Alave and Michael Thomas... It's Alave and Michael Thomas. They also need a tackle. Maybe we go Abraham Lucas, although I love NPF. I can wait and I can draft NPF. Could I move down to like 45? I don't want to move down to 55. I'm not interested. I'd rather just draft someone. Nick Benito, there's an interesting hybrid pass rusher that we could take. We should probably go defense with this pick. We should go defense. Asimoa, that's my guy. But they don't need a linebacker. They got Pete Warner. They Maybe they need a young linebacker. Benito, get them a legit edge rusher. They do have Marcus Davenport. Cam, um, Cam, jo uh, Cam Jordan is an interior defensive lineman. He's a defensive tackle. Cam Jordan, he's not an edge. Yeah, we're going to go Benito. We'll go Benito, and then I'm fine with taking... Boy, this is tough, because Brees Hall is probably going to pick... Ooh, Christian Harris. So, the, so if I, Christian Harris paired with Kyler Gordon's an interesting slot corner as well. McBride, I'd love to get my hands on McBride. I don't want to trade down to 55. I really don't want to do that. So here we will probably just draft Abraham Lucas and then trade back up and then draft Brees Hall. That's what I think we're going to do. We need to get them attacked. But I can just take, I would rather take NPF. Honestly, I'd rather take NPF. I might just want to take Christian Harris here. We're going to go ahead and draft because, well, they have Davis. Demar Demario Davis, I think. He's literally... But he's, he's getting up there in age. He's getting older. Roger McCleary is actually starting to become pretty... I mean, 54th is, is decent value for him. He was ranked too high originally, but now he's actually got to... Imagine George Pickens and Michael Thomas, and then you've got Alave. I don't think Alave could play this slot, though. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and draft Brees Hall and then trade back up. We'll draft, and there goes George Pickens. George Pickens, that's a great pick by Indianapolis. Great pick. I want to move up to 44, and I'll give you a 160. No, I'll give you a player. I will give you Kevin White. <laughs> what about, can I get 99 as well? Kevin White does not have this value, dude. Come on. I'll give you a six-rounder. I'll give you a fifth-rounder in 2023. Okay, now Kevin White does not have this value, but I do want, can I get 118? And we move back up. You love Brian Asimowa, Abraham. Lu I, I'm not going to draft him. 
Do I go Christian Harris here? Yeah, Christian Harris. Get them a legit good young middle linebacker. I like that pick. Our next pick is 94. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have five. We have to get more picks. I don't really want to trade with them. I don't want to trade with them. Ooh, I'll get 65 and 70. Could I get 65, 70, 106, and I'll give you Blake Bortles. You can you can take Blake Bortles back. I'll give you Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill has a horrible contract. I will throw in Mark Ingram. Can we do that? We throw in Mark Ingram. What about Landon Young? Okay, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. Ruiz would do it, but I don't want to trade Ru Ruiz. Bradley Roby. I want, like, the thing is, I don't want to be picking at 94. I want more capital. But it just comes down to, I'll give you this. I don't, should I, tr I could just get Cam Taylor, Brett. Like, Bradley Roby should not have this much value, I feel like. Could I get 157? All right, we'll do this. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. We did move down pretty significantly, though. Yeah, we're going to miss out on some guys. That's all right. I'm gonna just going to go ahead and take NPF then. Because I need to get them a legitimate, uh, I need to get them a legitimate, what was I going to say? A, a tackle. We could draft Cole Strange as well. Yeah, we could take Cole Strange. Calvin Austin is interesting. I really do like Calvin Austin. I always feel like I have to pick Calvin Austin just because he's such a fun gadget player. Alec Pierce. They need a slot. Calvin Austin's really not a slot. He's more of a gadget. Like, I'll probably just draft David Bell. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So what I can do right now, 80-107. I would trade Ruiz if I can get Cole Strange. I'm fine with doing that. Asimoa is here. I have to take him. I, I know I just took a linebacker. I'm trading back up. I'm tra Alec Pierce. That's all right. Alec Pierce got picked. It's whatever. I'll give you, listen, I want this and this. I'll give you Ruiz. They're not interested. I'll give you 106. Ruiz is decent. He is. He's a, he's a good center. But we can move someone else to center. Really, what I want to do is I want to get younger with this team. So I'm going to go ahead and draft Cole Strange here. And Calvin Austin gets picked. Well, F my life then. F my life. Then we're going to go ahead and go with... Uh, um, David, Be yeah, we could trade back. We could, cause I, David Bell won't get picked. I'll take 126. I'll take one, I'll take 164 as well. I'll give you 194. I'll get, I'll throw in Blake Bortles as a sweetener. I'll throw in Ian Book. Ian Book, possibly the worst start in NFL history on Monday night. <laughs> oh, Kirby Joseph was available. That is, that, I just might have made the dumbest move in my life. Who are, who are their safeties? Oh my god. Well, I obviously should have picked Kirby Joseph there. I did not know he was available. I did not see him. Holy crap, that was stupid. Now, we're going to go ahead and pick my guy, David Bell. Maybe we take Isaiah Likely as well. Maybe we go Isaiah Likely. There goes Wandale. Wandale would have been a good pick too. That's all right. That's okay. Cam Taylor, Britt, welcome. I'm playing all the hits. I'm taking all my guys. Give me... I'm not taking another linebacker. Did he get picked? Wow, he did get picked. That's hilarious. Give me my J. I'll take my J. My J Sanders, it's just... It's too good to pass up. It's simply too good to pass up. Who else do they need? They need more tackle help. We can try and get them an experimental offensive tackle. Yeah, Zach Tom, there's an experimental offensive. There's an asset to add to the team. There we go. Jeremy Ruckert, that's a good player. That is a good player. I should have picked Jeremy Ruckert. Cade Otten. Nah, that's just another... You know what? Woods is good. I like Woods a lot. I am a fan of Woods. Wow, Brian Robinson Jr. moving up boards a little bit. It's good to see that. Bailey Zappi. I love Bailey Zappi. I love Bailey Zappi, but we already got them Sam Howell. You know what? We'll draft Bailey Zappi as well. We'll have a little dueling QB battle between the two rookies. <laughs> you remember? Okay, that is literally the dumbest possible thing you could do. You guys remember when Washington drafted both RG3 and Kirk Cousins, and they were both rookies, and it was so awkward. Like, that is something you never want to do as a franchise, is take two rookie quarterbacks that potentially could... Like, just take two rookie quarterbacks in general is so dumb. The last team, I, it was it was Washington. They took RG3 second overall. 
and then they took Kirk Cousins like in the freaking second round and it was so awkward because they were both rookies and it was like RG3 is the second overall pick then he gets injured it was just like never do that never do what I just did never take uh, Bailey Sappy but no I'm fine with trading my entire draft for a second round pick for a third round pick I'm not gonna be able to do that what about two fourths what about if I got a player you know who I want for this team? I wanted to get them a safety. What could I... No. These guys are kind of... Um, they're too old. Micah Hyde. They're too old anyways. I don't want to do that. So we'll actually just draft someone. Flot is a is a, is an actual... Um, ac that's actually a good value. That is... Oh, JT Woods. Yeah, we'll get... Yeah, we... Yes. Love me some JT Woods. The speedster. The speedster from Baylor. And you know what? Is Taekwon Thornton available? I just want to draft the speed, guys. He's not available. That is he? No, I don't think he is. He is not available. Bo Melton. I like Bo Melton, but honestly, you might just have to go with best player available. Although, is there really? Hassan Haskins, the big boy. You know what? We'll go Bo Melton. We'll get I like getting receivers. I'm a fan of drafting receivers. Hopefully this will actually grade this draft. I don't know if it will though. Come on, grade it, grade it, grade it. Please grade it. This is like four straight times it hasn't graded it. Please grade it, please. Uh, now it's lagging. Oh, it's really lagging now. It doesn't grade the seven, it doesn't render. Yep, it's not gonna render. It, ugh, dude, I just, I can't do it anymore with this. I really am struggling with it. Yep. So guys, we wow, how about a mod garner going second overall? I did not see that one coming. A mod garner goes that's a good haul for the Giants. Evan Neal and Kyle Hamilton. I would like that. Yes, please. Akima Kwan who's a beast. But guys, so we end up taking Chris Alave. So now the Saints, you've got Chris Alave. You're receiving core. Chris Alave, Michael Thomas, and David Bell. That's loaded, folks. I'm sorry. That's unbelievable. Nakobe Dean going to Arizona? I like that. That's I've never seen that. We took Sam Howell. I could have taken Matt Corral. Honestly, I think Matt Corral is better than Sam Howell. But I wanted to be a little different. I wanted to take a different quarterback, mix it up. Nick Benito, the young edge rusher. I love it. Brace Hall. We trade away Alvin Kamara. He's suspended. We get rid of his cap situation. We traded away Mark Ingram. Brees Hall is the future of this backfield. Christian Harris, the next big thing in the middle linebacker position. NPF, we got a young tackle. Brian Asimoa, a rangy linebacker. You've got Christian Harris in the middle. You've got Asimoa and Pete Warner. On the sides, that's three phenomenal young linebackers. Yes, please. We trade away Ruiz. We get Cole Strange, the superstar guard who's going to be a multiple-time All-Pro. I already talked about David Bell. Cam Taylor-Britt, the young cornerback, to pair with Marshawn Lattimore. You've also got Bradley Roby back there. My J. Sanders. That's a value pick right there. That's a value pick. Zach Tom, they need depth. They need tackle help. We got them a good rangy one. He performed well at the combine. You take Woods, the tight end. I really wanted Ruckert. Either way, Woods, you know, he performed well at the combine. Bailey Zappi. I mean, listen, I like Bailey Zappi. That's really good value. You, you never want to pick. You never want to draft t two quarterbacks in the first, in, in the same draft class. JT Woods, phenomenal. Phen stud. I wanted Tyquan Thornton, I didn't get him, but I got Bo Melton, who's kind of a gadget, quick player, ran a really good 40 time, and then it looks like we forfeited a draft pick because I cheated, and they said, you know what, we're forfeiting your draft pick. I'm kidding, guys, that's not what happened. That's actually in real life, they forfeited it because Sean Payton leaked his nudes to, I'm kidding, that didn't happen either. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. There you can see it's loading. It's not going to load. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.